Hello there, I'm Joe Bender, Community Manager at Hero, and today we're talking about the World Wide Web 3 of Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first ever blockchain, but it's rarely featured in discussion of smart contracts because it was designed to be a decentralized currency. That required an emphasis on both security and decentralization, and in order to achieve that goal, Bitcoin had a limited scripting language to reduce the surface area for potential vulnerabilities. It made the currency safer, but also reduced programmability. Bitcoin introduced the idea of a decentralized network with no single point of failure, but it didn't offer decentralized applications. That came with new blockchains like Ethereum and the creation of smart contracts. So what are smart contracts? Smart contracts are blockchain programs designed to run autonomously when predefined events or actions occur. The terms of a smart contract are specified in code to eliminate the need for human execution, arbitration, or enforcement. And since that code is stored on a blockchain, the terms of the contract cannot be tampered with. Smart contracts enable all types of autonomous, decentralized applications like DeFi, NFTs, and more. So how do we bring apps and smart contracts to Bitcoin? In fact, you need a second blockchain altogether. And that's where Stacks comes in. Bitcoin smart contracts, in terms of their core design and architecture, exist on the independent Stacks blockchain and leverage Bitcoin's security and latent capital through a unique consensus mechanism called proof of transfer. And all of this happens with no tampering of Bitcoin itself. Bitcoin smart contracts need an independent blockchain because Bitcoin itself doesn't offer that programmability. Instead, smart contracts exist on a separate programming layer, the Stacks blockchain, and ultimately settle those transactions back on the Bitcoin blockchain. Stacks contracts can read and react to Bitcoin transactions, and those contracts inherit Bitcoin security. It's a similar relationship to how Ethereum layer 2s like Polygon or Optimism bring scaling to Ethereum. But in this case, Stacks brings programmability to Bitcoin. We often get asked why the Stacks blockchain has its own STX token. The short answer is the Stacks layer needs a way to incentivize the free market. Computation isn't free, and you need a way to rationally incentivize the network to process transactions. If you'd like to learn more, check out this video on blockchain fees. You may be wondering, why bring smart contracts to Bitcoin? Why not just use some of those other blockchains? Well, there are a couple reasons to note. Bitcoin has a market cap of $800 billion, but 99% of it is just sitting there. By making Bitcoin programmable, we're enabling developers to build all types of applications that make Bitcoin productive and let users put their BTC to work instead of it just sitting in a wallet. The Bitcoin network is the most secure and decentralized blockchain in existence. In over a decade, it has never crashed or been hacked. If you want to build a new internet or a new financial system, you would be hard pressed to find a better foundation than Bitcoin. Now it's time for you to harness the power of expressive Bitcoin smart contracts. Check out some of our other video content or resources in the description below to learn more about a future denominated in Bitcoin.